Had it not been for political events, many people would perhaps never have heard of the vast, barren province of Northeast Africa called Abyssinia, or of its capital, Addis Ababa. The hand of Western civilization has touched only lightly on this royal city of the Emperor Haile Selassie. The speech of the street corner orator is still all important in a land where the daily newspaper does not exist. But the modern rival to the street corner orator has already arrived. There is one cinema where pathy films bring moving pictures from the West. Addis Ababa is a city of low houses flanking wide streets. Streets always thronged with busy life. For six months of each year, the rainy season turns roads into mud tracks. Cars can be used only in the central streets of the city. The wealthy Abyssinian goes back to the mule, which for centuries has been his ancestors' only means of travel. day and night, the rain falls steadily for months on end. The Abyssinian warrior is fearless and independent. His wife too much prefers to die beside her husband in the battlefield than stay at home to mourn his loss. From Addis Ababa, through 400 miles of barren, mountainous country, a railway runs to French Djibouti on the shores of the Indian Ocean. Twice a week, the train leaves on its journey to the coast, providing the only rail contact between the outside world and this strange, barren land.